ever gonna get the hang of this. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold us. I, I don't, I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! We shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Look at this. Overgrown. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard! Got some nerve on you! Ah, shit. I hope this hole's dug. All right, well, 
here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And... That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Hmm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Ah! I cut your damn head clean off. I don't want another beating. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky.
I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Mr. Morgan. You don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, I'm... I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you, though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. 